and I clean all of this up with thinning shears at the end. So I'm not worried about it being super smooth just yet. From the ear to the eye, we're just skimming right off the eye. You don't want to cut in at all. Some Wheatons will have a really bulbous head and a really narrow snout. She doesn't. She has a really nice head. Um, but if that happens, you don't want to accidentally scoop in. You just scoop right straight down across the zygomatic arch, and you don't want to dig in where the eye is. Underneath, I'm not going much farther than where her lip is. So her lip ends right here, and I'm kind of skimming off right where her lip is. And then once I have that set in, I don't like to switch my clipper combs more than I have to, so I'm going to go to the back of the dog and do the same length on the back of her leg. Good girl. So I just find where this little point is, where the pin bone is, and I go straight down from the pin bone and then scoop out at the bend of stifle. Now I'm going to switch to a one comb to do her shoulder. So right where we did her flat work, <laughs> stand. Good girl. Stay. Stay. Good girl. So right where we did her flat work, we're going to blend that into the body with a one comb and just go straight down. You can go straight down the front of the dog with your one comb. And we're creating that column leg while we're doing this. So once you get to the shoulder, you're going to go straight down. You don't want to dip in where the shoulder dips in. Stand. Let's take that back a little bit. And then I'm going to go off the side of the neck, but I'm not going to go up into the back of the neck because we want to save that and keep it a little bit longer. Come back here. And we're going to, right where we did our five blade on the back of the leg, the leg we're going to blend that in with our one comb now. And then once that's blended, I do everything from shortest to longest. So now I'm going to go to a zero. And I'm going to use the zero comb attachment to do most of the dog's body. So normally on a show Wheaton, you're not going to scoop the underline out very close. It's a, it's a little bit longer. But on a pet, they don't need to maintain all that belly hair. So I take that off on a slight angle. And then starting just past the withers to the tail, we want to make a nice flat top line. I know, you're a good girl. Good girl. Rather going right down the tail, I like to go to either side to leave a little bit of an angle here so that we can scissor that in and build in front of the tail a little bit. So once you get back to the tail, you just go off either side 
and leave a little bit of a triangle there. And then once we have our top line set in, using the same zero comb, I blend where I did my one comb into the zero comb. And then I do the same thing back here. All right. Now I'm switching all the way to a one inch comb, which I'm going to do the legs with. And we've got our light blue clipper comb attachment. And I go straight down the outside of the leg. So right where you stopped with your one comb earlier on the shoulder, you can pick up where you left off and just skim that off with your one or with your one inch comb. And then same thing on the back of the thigh, because we want this hair a tiny bit longer to blend into the front of the leg. And blend all that in. And then since she is a pet, we don't have to keep this neck as long as we normally would. And so I take my one comb in reverse from where I started the top line and I scoop this up. And the reason I go in reverse is because you want to leave a little bit of buildup right on the occiput on the back of the dog's head. So this will take that neck tighter without taking the hair off that you need to build the head. All right, now that mostly everything is cut in, we're just going to go over with thinning shears and chunkers to clean everything up. All right, starting with the back of the dog. We want to cut a little bit of an angle right here just to give her a butt. <laughs> so we're going to cut a little bit of an angle where her pin bone is to give her a little bit of a butt. So I'm holding her tail up so I can see where the pin bone is. And I'm just going to cut this off. And I'm using my uh, Zolita Mirage chunkers to cut that off. Good girl. And then I'm going to cut straight up to finish off that angle. Now I'm just going over everything that I cut with clippers and blending it all together. 
So Wheaton is not a perfectly fluffed and scissored dog. It's supposed to look a little more natural. So when you use your chunkers, you'll end up making it look more like the hair grew that way and less like you spent three hours fluff drying and then perfectly scissoring the dog. I'm going to clean up this underline while I'm back here. And I'll move to the front. I'll clean up this neck. You're a good girl. You see? For her neck into her top line, I'm just going to clean that up a little bit, still with chunkers. You're a good girl. <laughs> 